In this lecture, we'll talk a little bit about some, some of the challenges you face in human resource management. Some of the things that you have to worry about if you're in the uh, human resource management area are listed on this particular slide. A turnover occurs when employees quit or are fired, or they must be replaced by new employees. This results in lost productivity because of the vacancy, but also costs to recruit replacement and employees, and then management time devoted to interviewing, training, and the socialization expenses for new employees. However, some companies have created innovative solutions for reducing turnover. A promotion is an advancement to a higher level job with increased authority, responsibility, and pay. Most managers base promotions on seniority only when they have candidates with equal qualifications. Managers prefer to base promotions on marriage, merit, however. A transfer is a move to another job within the company at essentially the same level in wage. Transfers allow employees and workers to obtain new skills or to find a new position within an organization when an old position has been eliminated because of automation or downsizing. Let's talk about downsizing for a minute. Um, sometimes when things change, organizations have to reduce their human resource teams because of financial requirements or downturn or even management errors at times. Um, these are or financial constraints that you just can't afford to keep, this, keep the organization there, um, keep the organization at the same size and continue to sustain the business. This is, um, this is what we refer to as downsizing. Individuals are identified usually in groups, but also sometimes by performance. This leads to what are called separations. That's when employees resign, retire, or are terminated, or sometimes laid off. Employees may be terminated or fired for poor performance or for violation of certain work rules, for absenteeism and so on. Businesses have traditionally been able to fire employees at will. That is, they don't need any reason other than uh, race, religion, sex, or age, or because an employee is a unionized union organizer. However, recent legislation and court decisions now require that companies fire employees fairly, not for just cause only, or for just cause only. A well-organized human resources department strives to minimize losses due to separations and transfers. This is because recruiting and training of new employees can be very time consuming and expensive. Note that the high turnover rate in the company may signal problems with the selection and training process or with the compensation program, or even with the type of company in the industry that it's in. Uh, something to keep in, keep in mind. 